You know, as long as I can remember, we've been waiting for the Messiah to come. It's just always been that way. And I always knew he'd come, but <laughs> let's be honest. I'm not from Jerusalem or someplace special. I'm just a girl, a nobody from Nazareth. And everybody knows not much good comes out of Nazareth, never has. You know, I thought for sure that the angel had come to the wrong house to deliver the message. But if this is what God wanted, I mean, who am I to tell him that he's wrong? And Joseph, God bless that wonderful man. You know, he could have done what everybody else did. He could have sent me away. He could have had me killed. But he never broke his promise to marry me. So when he had to go to Bethlehem for the census, it was an honor to ride by his side. Even with heartburn and swollen cankles and nine months of pregnancy behind me. You know those women that they try everything to induce labor, they'll go on frequent walks or eat spicy food? What they should do is go on a 70-mile bumpy trip to Bethlehem. You know, I had never done this before, but we got close and I knew it was time. If I'm being honest with every wave of pain, I was just trying to do my best to distract myself, ignore the fact that I am about to have this baby without any of my family or any resemblance or familiarity of home. When Jesus was finally born, though, I forgot all about that. I just wrapped him in cloth and did the best I could to make the most comfortable bed with what I had, an animal's feeding trough. You know, Joseph will tell you that I should have been resting, but I just couldn't stop staring at him. Here he was, the baby that the angel had told me about. My heart was so full, there's just not words big enough to describe it. I know I'm not the first young mom to bring a child into the world. It's always been that way. But as I look down at my son, my <laughs> redeemer, I just knew. This is the one that's going to change everything. Because he had already changed me. 